Okay, this morning I'm going to show you how I do this canopy. It's rigby. Um, it takes about 10 minutes. It works for me. Mileage may vary. Um, but I've, I think I've had 12 camping trips with this now. And uh, it blew off one time, which I'll talk about in the video. But anyway, every time I post a picture of my camper, a Lanner Ranger 12, everybody wants to know how I'll put this up. And I'm getting tired of typing it. So anyway, uh, if you ask me, I'm going to post this video. <laughs> anyway, see you shortly. Okay, this morning I'm going to show now I put up my tarp on my A-Laner, Ranger 12. It has dual soft dormers. I'm pretty sure this will also work on the A-Laners without um, any kind of dormers. Um, so we start with the Ozark Trail canopy, which comes from Walmart. It's about 40 bucks. And uh, I've decided on this one instead of the $300 ones because I figured it's going to rip away at some point in the wind and so will the expensive ones. Um, anyway, I'm going to take it out of the package and I'll be right back. Okay, so now I have it laid out a little bit and I just want to show you how I um, configured this um, after I purchased it. Um, the, I guess it's a 10 by 12 and it comes with um, these rope tie downs on uh, really six corners or uh, the four corners and the two center parts and then the canopy comes with uh, two metal poles and I actually only use one of them and I do use three of these spikes but what I did was remove um, on one side of the can, it can't be the side towards the trailer. I just literally untied these tie downs and so it's free. And then I use three bungee cords for to attach it to the trailer. And yes, with the bungees, it's not a um, you know, it's not tight to the side of the camper. So yes, if it's raining hard, you will, there is a gap and I'll show you that at the end. Pardon me for the quality of this. I'm not a professional videographer or do I shoot video uh, streams for YouTube. Um, but let me, I'm gonna rearrange a little bit. I'm gonna show you uh, how I get started and again, the A-liner is down, uh, so you want to attach, we're going to attach the center prior to lifting it. And I say that because I can't tell you how many camping trips, you know, I get to the site and see the late in the day or the dog needs to go to the bathroom and I forget to attach before I raise the roof and it means that I have to climb up on top of the little cabinet right inside the door and try to kill myself attaching the tarp to the A-liner. Anyway, I'll be right back. It's a big truck going by and it's getting loud. All right, so I start with just one bungee cord and the ones I use, I've got three, you know, two, the orange and the blue one are relatively long and I'll show you how those attach. They, they do have to stretch out a bit. For the center one, I found this little, very thin, but very strong bungee cord. And the way I attach it is on the center, the very center of the tarp is a um, grommet. Just step on it. And I'm going to try to, I'm going to attach that and I'll be back and show you how I do that. Basically, this little black one is going to go through that loop. 
and then we will attach it to the camper from there. And I'm back. So you see how I threaded this thin one through that loop. And this is the reason I'm using the, um, it's almost like a elastic rope almost. Um, we use that because that's the only one that will really fit through that little loop. I'm gonna come up to the camper and we're looking at the, um, you know, the side clamp for the liner and actually attach it right on here. And there's a little hole and I'll do, it. I'll do one to the bottom and one to the top. If I can get them going. Anyway, it's now attached. Now, when I raise the roof, which I don't do at my age anymore, but anyway, um, when I raise the roof, this will be in the center of the peak. And I'm gonna try to do this and shoot the film at the same time. Never tried this before. <laughs> I'm gonna raise the roof and you see nothing else is attached at this point. All I'm trying to do is get the center point on the camper side of the trailer attaching up. And yes, it'll, you know, if it's a windy day, it can be a little, a little bit of a pain. It's about 10 or 15, the wind's blowing 10 or 15 knots. I'm on the coast of South Carolina, so it gets windy. But it's, it doesn't matter what happens when you raise it, we'll straighten it out when we get done. So here we go. See, it's just raising up with us. You have to pardon me. And there we go. And I'm just gonna go on the other side. Make sure the roof is locked. And we are raised. I'm gonna go inside and raise the sidewalls and I'll be back for now. I have raised the roof and the sidewalls and you know it's still attached just with one bungee cord. And as you can see it's right there at the center. So this will actually make the peak of the park when I get done and y'all will see that. Right now I'm going to attach one corner of the tarp with one of the bungees to the center pole at the back of the trailer. And then I'm gonna come around and attach the third bungee to another to the front corner onto the center pole in the front of the trailer. This right is back. a note. I actually on the those with who have hard or soft, soft dormers the back dormer is not as large as the front dormer. So I actually use the my two bungees, I use a shorter, the orange one, um, is gonna be on the back. So I'll be right back. Uh, now I've attached the, my short bungee, shorter bungee, and just bring it around the side of the camper. And I'm gonna attach it here. And what I do, is, and I'll talk about it shortly, I, oops. I do, it right. I do it inside the handle and hook it from the bottom. Uh, I have had, um, the one time this has come off was at uh, Lake Moultrie in South Carolina. It was at Santee State Park and had a horrendous thunderstorm come through at about 2 o'clock in the morning. Of course, I did not check the weather and the whole thing came off. Absolutely nothing was damaged. No rip stairs, no, no damage to the A-liner. I think the bungees help with that. All right, now I'm gonna do the front. I've got the front couple of them attached, and I do, um, I, I don't know why, I don't know where this comes from, but I hook the bungee hook, whatever, through the bottom, and it's gonna, it's gonna come over here, and have to lift it up over the corner a little bit. And then I do the same thing here, through the bottom, you know, through the handle, hook from the bottom, and there you go. And you can probably see some scratches from the numerous times this has been attached. All right, so now we're ready to 
erect the side away from the camper. And what we do is we start, I'm gonna assemble just one of these metal poles that comes with a little um, plastic foot, which I'm not sure how necessary it is, but if you're on a sandy campground, it kind of keeps the poles from driving into the ground. And then we're gonna stake down three points on the outside. And we're gonna pull it tight. And I'll show you how we do this. Okay, so I have assembled pole I've got a little cap on the end and it comes in and it goes through one of the grommets up the top it's got the pole has a little spike that sticks up now this is the trickiest part especially for someone like me i'm a generally a solo camper with my dog and she is not interested at all in help setting up, setting up the camper she just wants to wait until I'm done so we can go go on a hike. Anyway, um, so now I'm going to spike down the center pole, the center line first. All right, that's my line. And I'll be back with you in a second because I can't do this in the wind if it wasn't windy. Um, I could probably shoot the video, but anyway, I'm going to spike down the center one. I'm going to leave two corners alone for a minute, okay? Okay, I'm back. I have spiked the center and just, you know, using a tent stake, kind of hard to see, it's on the ground there, lines tied around it, and I want to show you, this seems to be important because it helps, and I might adjust this, but if you can see that pole, I've got an angle back towards the trailer, and this seems to help with the tension, and tension is what keeps this thing in place um, and I will find generally um, if anybody's seen pictures of my camper when I'm out um, I maneuver the a-liner close to the, the any available picnic table or I'll move the picnic table around the last campground I was at had a permanently mounted picnic table so I had to back the a-liner up carefully but anyway but when I do have a picnic table I'll actually put that pole through either the inside um, you know the seat that runs along or I'll do it on the outside and, and still just tie it down but um, that may or may not help with you know um, with any kind of um, you know, if a storm comes up or the wind kicks up, it just gives you a little bit more sturdiness. Anyway, so we're going to come back once I get one of the corners attached. Right. There is corner one. It's up very tight. Pull it as tight as you can. You're not going to hurt anything. The grommets are on this canopy are very sturdy. You're not going to rip anything. You see the center pole still up. You can kind of start to see the a shape that the canopy is going to take. And I'll be back after the last one. It is now erected. Um, and this is the last point. And a weird little thing this particular canopy comes with these red bags, and I can't tell you how uh, useful they are to leave on there. As you know, when you got all these lines running out, you know, if any of y'all have tent camped, you can trip over stuff in a heartbeat. And these have saved many a trip and fall <laughs> for me. So let's get back and see how it looks from the camper. It maintains the A shape of the camper. Now, one thing, um, you know, this might bug people and there might be a way around this, but so I, as you see, I do not have my dormers up. I'm getting ready to raise them. And either way, when the dormers are up, the top of the door does rub. When I open and close the door, it will rub on here. Um, and as you can see, there is a gap, blah, blah, blah. There might, the, those of you who do not have dormers, I would maybe, I think if you got some tighter bungee cords, um, this issue would be resolved. But anyway, we're just going to raise the raise the roof i gotta find my keys <laughs>
be back. Back. We've got the latch unlocked. Just gonna raise the roof. Nothing. Oops. And do the other one. Boy, those are crappy latches. They rust. This is only like five years old, and they rust. All right. Raising the roof. The last roof. You can see it kind of lifts the side of the canopy. I'm gonna go around to the front. I'm right. getting ready to raise the front. The set on leash front, uh, the way I'm kind of bungees I have, this actually tightens the canopy even more, which is good. The tighter, the better. And there she is. Now I'm going to um, show you that door, you know, door, you know, depending on how I have it mounted, usually the door rubs <laughs> up here, but. As you can see, no holes whatsoever. Um, and there is a gap. Um, easily. I, might, I mean, you can make some adjustments. Usually the gap is not quite that big. But that really doesn't bother me. Um, you know, if it starts raining when I'm camping, I'm going to get wet anyway. <laughs> so, but if I, you know, two seconds to get out to the pad, you know, if it is drizzling, I can sit there and not get wet. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. It works for me. That's all I can tell you. Um, and uh, happy trails.